Hello. I got to be out in the garden for a little bit today. Uh, we lost some things, some things got frozen. Those are mowed down dandelions right there. Um, let's just go take a look at what I've done today. Okay, I didn't do this necessarily today, but uh, we had about three freezing nights uh, the beginning of the week. And I did cover these. That's why this one still looks all right. But all of my other annual flowers took a big hit with the frost, even though I had them covered with, most of them were covered with ice cream tubs. And um, I'm just gonna leave them in there, even though they are probably done. This is a milkweed. Um, I'm not going to pull them just yet. I'm going to see if they turn around or see if they've created enough of a root system to try to start over. Um, so there's that. I feel like that's kind of a fail. Most of the perennials still look okay. So I'll take that as a win. This bed is the arch trellis in the front yard. And every toothpick signifies a beet seed that I planted. In the middle we have just, uh, I think it's salad mix, like a packet of salad mix seeds. Um, those were individually inside in the garage and I just took the whole little thing that it was in and put it straight into the ground. And this is what we have now. So maybe it'll warm up enough to do something there. This is my pepper bed. Um, on the inside of all of these toothpicks, I planted an individual carrot seed. And then when it's warm enough, my peppers will come out here and I'm gonna stagger them. This is my tomato bed. I planted, um, my local hardware store had little tiny onion starts for yellow onions. So I planted those three inches apart all the way down the middle at the very end, way down there. That's garlic. I had purchased a kale and it was not loving my new greenhouse. So I brought it out here to be with the peas and enjoy the cool weather. So here, I tried to cover those. That's why this plant looks terrible. It knocked over its flowers. I'm gonna cut those off probably tomorrow. Um, here, I was in a big hurry to try to get things planted. And this is basically just soil like maybe not soil, just dirt um hoping that those are lavender but they could just be weeds uh this is supposed to be pink swiss chard but it's so hard that it's not doing anything and this lettuce was in the same type of dirt so i took a chance and busted it out of the dirt that it was in and repotted the individual little heads that looked like were started it might not do any good it might faint and die anyway but I thought well it's not getting any bigger in that tough dirt so I might as well risk it and transplant it and see what happens so maybe I'll do the swiss chard I don't know I hesitate to touch that lavender just in case it is lavender has to be cold stratified before you can um, germinate it and I put this in this pot when it was really cold so I'm really hopeful that those are little lavender plants but if the soil's too hard for it to do anything, mm, it's kind of a wash anyway. So I'm gonna sleep on that one. And this is my in-garage greenhouse. So I've got a heater in there for daytime and grow lights for daytime. And then that lamp that you see hanging right there in the middle, it's actually a ceramic heat emitter and it puts out heat in the nighttime to make sure that it doesn't go below about 60 in there. Um, if I have a thermometer, hydrometer in there that has an app that tells me what it is and I can just check from my bed and I don't have to get up unless, you know, it's at a temperature that I don't want. So maybe, just maybe, I'll get some seeds germinating. I uh, started some things that I killed when I transplanted them so many times from March, those solo cups. If if you've seen any of my videos or if I've talked about it. Um, yeah, I guess that's a short and sweet update. 
hopefully once things start growing in my garden, I'll have more to talk about. Um, for now, it's just kind of like, look at my dirt. Here's my dirt and some's on my hands. So you'll see me next time.